Most seasoned investors understand the benefits of diversification, and few think it's wise to hold only a small number of stocks or invest heavily in a single sector. Intuitively, diversification makes sense, and finance theory agrees. Diversifying is an essential part of risk management and can be vital to long-term investment success. Yet, many American investors aren't nearly as diversified as they think. American investors tend to focus largely on U.S. stocks. After all, America is home to the biggest economy and stock market in the world. Even so, America represents about half of the value of the world's developed stock markets and less than 25% of the global economy. A portfolio with only U.S. stocks misses out on the rest of the world. The U.S. has the world's biggest, most dynamic, and diverse economy, but that doesn't mean America's stock market will always be a top performer. Leadership in capital markets changes continuously. This table shows annual returns for the best-performing developed countries, along with U.S. stock market performance. Over the past 10 years, the U.S. has been a top five performer only twice. Now look at the top five each year. You'll see there is little consistency. Each year's best performers rarely maintain leadership. By failing to invest in a variety of global markets, investors can miss opportunities. Sometimes U.S. stocks beat foreign stocks, and sometimes the reverse is true. It can be tough for investors to know which markets will lead next or for how long. Domestic and foreign stocks have provided vastly different returns in each of the last few decades. This graph shows how a hypothetical $100,000 invested in U.S. and foreign stocks at the beginning of each of the last four decades would have grown by that decade's end. For example. In the 1980s, $100,000 would have grown to $777,930 in foreign stocks versus $500,249 in domestic stocks, over a quarter of a million dollars difference. On the other hand, in the 1990s, $100,000 would have grown to $532,776 in domestic stocks. Versus two hundred and two thousand nine hundred and fifty-seven dollars in foreign stocks. Having both U.S. and foreign components in your portfolio can be a good way to avoid making a potentially costly mistake. In conclusion, there are many potential benefits of becoming a global investor. First, there are more opportunities abroad. Global investing can offer performance-enhancing opportunities missed by single-country investors. Even when the country is as large as America, secondly, it can offer a smoother ride for investors over very long time periods. Increased foreign exposure may actually reduce volatility. Thirdly, a global portfolio offers currency diversification, helping insulate a portfolio from the strength or weakness of any single currency. Although global investing involves some challenges. Working with a money manager that specializes in globally diversified portfolios can make it easier than you might think. For more information, contact Fisher Investments Regional Vice President Matthew Goldhaber at one eight hundred eight five one eight eight four five.